Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about the while statement. And this is our lecture number 9. Okay, let's proceed with the coding. So we have sharp include I stream then that is the head. So we have using namespace std so this is the uh, simplest form of using c out and c in and even end line next we have integer main as the neck and we have the body so we have the body okay right here we put uh, our code okay so let's start with the declaration case. So we need to declare our variables here and its data type. So we have integer data type, double one. We have integer also, grado, integer, pambilang, and another integer. Okay, so we have our four variables we've declared. And then after the declaration phase, we have initialization phase. To copy that, a very simple way, copy, then we're going to paste it right here below. Then we're going to, of course, we're going to delete the declared integer. And right now we put here zero. So we have zero in kabuan and grado, and another zero in pambilang, and another zero in pamantayan. Just uh, what I mentioned in the earlier video that we we encountered errors after a year of the program in the company because it is not been declared to its uh, uh, steady state okay this is what they call the steady state now uh, let's continue with the uh, after the initialization phase so we have the processing phase okay so we have here so let's have the code uh, while because this is our topic okay so the while statement so the while statement or the while function it should be look like this put of course uh, begin and end if you are going to use the while statement okay so then we're going to put also inside of the delimiters okay that is what you call the content so let's type here so pambilang is less than equals to 10 okay it meant to say that um, while pambilang is less lesser than 10 it will not stop equal to 10 then the while statement will stop okay so we have after it is stop so we have the code So we call the the variable grado um, kindly enter grade. So this zero grado must be entered in the keyboard. Then it will be replaced. Okay, this is zero. Then let's continue. it that is the advantage of uh, new programming language uh, they have the uh, data dictionary what you see in here is a data dictionary 
if I'm going to type then it will display what are the available options so we have here uh, after you type the grades then it will display again because you're going to type 10 times okay 10 times of the grade it will not end until you didn't type 10 times grade okay so then the grade must be added into kabuuan it means to say the grade you input on the first must be added to the second to the third to the fourth to the fifth up to, to the tenth and then afterwards they were going to compute all of that okay and of course we're going to we need to divide that kind of uh, kabuuan or the total itself so to divide that so we have average is equals to pamantayan is equals to kabuuan of course divided by 10 So display at the end so we're going to divide it by 10 then the result will go to your class average is pamantayan okay so let's go back this to the um, integer main so that the result will display okay that's the use of the while statement okay so let's check this one so click debug and start without debugging and we have the output kindly enter grade so we have 90 80 70 60 50 40 30 20 10 100 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 110 so we have the output your class average is 66 because of the equal 10 okay that is the idea so if you going to remove uh, equal sign but since all of the initialization starts with zero that's why it's considered to be 11 then we remove the equal sign so let's check out uh, what will be the output of this so can kindly enter grade so we have 100 100 100 so we have 90 90 90 80 80 80 and then we have uh, 70 that's it so this is uh, exactly 10 okay so because it starts with 0 so your class average is 88 and this is a perfect program in one statement thank you and good luck